you are serious about photography and you have an iPhone, then I think Halide is an app you really should check out. But why use a third-party app at all, let alone pay for one when the iPhone takes great photos and video on its own? While the stock camera app is great for most people, some people want to do things that the stock app simply doesn't allow. I think the three biggest reasons to use Halide are you want to shoot raw photos, you want total control over each photo, and you want to learn more about photography. Let's sit on each one of those items and find out why Halide might be right for you. Raw photos are a rabbit hole, but the very short version is that when you snap a photo, there is a ton of raw data collected from the image sensor on your camera, iOS applies some magic to it, and then saves it as a JPEG or high efficiency file to your camera roll. This is usually great, but all of that raw sensor data is thrown out when the compressed file is saved, so you have limited control over the look of a photo. Raw images retain all of that sensor data and allow you to do whatever magic you want to do on your own. There are plenty of apps on the App Store that take raw photos, but what makes Halide special is how it tries to make those raw photos look better, and in the Mark II release of the app, more intuitive to work with. Instead of just collecting a raw photo from the sensor, Halide has a new feature called Converge that snaps two photos every time you hit the shutter button. The first image is a processed JPEG with all of Apple's fancy magic like Deep Fusion and Smart HDR applied. The second image is a raw file. These files are saved as a package, so when you access the photo from an app, the app can choose to use the format it knows how to handle. For example, if you try to share one of these photos on Twitter, it'll use the JPEG version. But if you open the photo in Lightroom, it'll use the raw version. Basically, it means that you're not going to take a picture and then get an error from some app that you try to use it in saying, I don't understand what this file is. And another cool thing they've added this time is something called Instant Raw, a single button press that goes through a 17-step development process that is not a filter, but a collection of intelligent tweaks that aim to make the photo look perfectly, well, neutral. If you know what you're doing, then this won't be something you necessarily need to use, but it's a really nice way to take someone who doesn't know how to edit a photo elaborately in Lightroom and give them something that's very usable, very high quality, and gets all the benefits of that raw photo, all that additional data, it gets it into a photo that looks nice. Again, raw is a rabbit hole and we could go way further down there, but that's all I'm going to say today. But basically, if you want to take raw photos on your iPhone, I think Halide is the best option. The second thing people would want to use Halide for is having total control over their photography. And so things like being able to do manual focus is really huge. There's a really great manual focus system in the app that lets you basically do autofocus by default and it uses the iPhone's great autofocus. But if you want to focus on something very specific or it's not quite grabbing it right or you want to do something artistic, like maybe you're taking pictures of the snow that's falling and the iPhone wants to focus way in the distance but you want to focus like two inches in front of you, you can do that. You can adjust the exposure compensation by sliding anywhere up and down the middle of the photo preview. And you can go into a full auto mode if you want to control the shutter speed and everything all with a very intuitive gestural interface. And that's not even it. You can control what buttons show on the bottom of the screen. So if you do specific things more often, you can make sure those are always visible so you can have access to them quicker. There's some really good stuff they do with exposure and zebra stripes and histograms that are happening live. They're actually really proud of the histograms that they do that do full 14-bit color instead of the 8-bit color that you typically get. Uh, they say this will give you more accuracy when you're making sure that you're exposing correctly. Uh, it's hard for me to test that exactly, but it seems to be very reliable and it looks very, very high quality. Ultimately, I'm getting the right exposure when I take photos in this app because the preview that it's giving me, however many bits are in use, it's giving me the right preview, which is helping me take better shots. And how is this going to make you a better photographer? Well, if you've been kind of listening to all the things that it lets you do, it lets you go into this fully manual mode and use features like histograms, zebra stripes, manual focus, uh, gestures to control the shutter speed, aperture, and everything, and kind of figure out how cameras work. And this is basically how a real camera works. Like if you have a full frame DSLR and are using kind of all manual controls there, these are the same controls you're gonna have in the physical world with a real, quote unquote, real camera, and you get them on your phone, and that's really cool. Not only that, you're also going to get these videos that are produced. They actually haven't put any out yet, so I haven't been able to see them yet, but based on the people involved, I expect they'll be good, but there'll be lessons in becoming a better photographer, using photography in more interesting ways, using your tools in better ways. So I'm really excited to see what they have there. 
So that's Halide. It is an expensive app. Uh, you can subscribe right now for $9.99 a year to use it, or you can pay $30 up front and just have it forever. Or uh, if you wait a few uh, weeks, it's going to be actually more expensive. So if you are interested, uh, it's going to be $36, I think, to buy it outright and $12 a year. And while that is expensive, I think that it delivers on the promise of the iPhone camera for professionals. The stock camera app takes great photos, and if you're happy with them, you don't necessarily need to get Halide. But if you want to do more, if you kind of miss the control that you would have with a real camera, or you want to kind of experiment more with photography, I think Halide is a great option to do that, and you can check it out today.